Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tom Rosano and this is another episode of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves and we are coming to you live today. Ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> um, the this, this sound quality might still be a little off because... I had to I had to get me a new I had to get me a new microphone, you know, so I'm using these Apple ear pods and uh so hopefully, you know, the quality is not that bad. But this weekend we'll get the microphone back and we'll be good to go. And uh ladies and gentlemen, you wanna know a um you wanna know something that I learned in the last eh, six months? Ladies and gentlemen, you know what kind of content that you, that if you want to get a lot of views or your uh, or your content you know what you should do uh, do kids songs okay <laughs> let me tell you something ladies and gents i have a 11 month old baby okay and these last few months we started playing uh we watched basically we watched the same video over and over you know it's like uh some lady named miss rachel's like songs for littles and she like teaches she you know it's like the first couple minutes is like you know can you say mama can you say dad dad you know and uh, it has like 50 million views and i'm like i'm like whoa you know and then it's this other thing that my wife discovered something about grace's corner and they do the same kind of songs now all these folks all these cartoon people or whatever they do the same kind of songs you know, old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, you know, um, Daddy Shark, doop do 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 doop But, you know, I'm sitting there thinking sometimes, I'm like, and I was telling my wife, you know, and my wife, she, she, she don't want to, she don't want to hear me, but I said, you know, we got the camera downstairs, we could just uh, start filming you, and you could do all these songs, and we can get 50 million views too, you know, because... Ladies and gents, I don't know if you know this or not, but sometimes when this, sometimes when this, sometimes when I, I get home, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm kind of exhausted, and then my wife's like, you know, the baby didn't sleep good, I need a nap, you know, and I'm like, all right. And so, for an hour, I'll sit there on the couch like a zombie, and I'll turn on one of these YouTube videos. And my daughter's like, you know, she's bobbing her head and she's staring into the, she's staring at the TV and I'm like, uh, whatever works, you know. I don't, <laughs> I don't recommend that every day because I don't want her to get addicted to TV, you know. I don't, I don't want her growing up like, uh, like I did. TV was like your pal, you know what I mean. But at the same time, sometimes it's like thank goodness for, thank goodness for television, you know. But, but anyway, ladies and gents. That's just a little. That's just a little tip from me to you. I mean, I don't know. I would have to look more into it. I don't know if they make money or not, but they they gotta make some type of money because you go to any any kitty any kitty channel, mid, millions of views. You know, they got hundred thousand subscribers, all this jazz. You know, and um, the the theme of the show today is there's so many angles. There's so many different avenues that you can go down when it comes to content. Don't ever think you have to do the same typical content as everybody else, you know? And I just gave you an example. These these kitty shows, you know, it's just put up a kitty show, dress up like a I mean look at the guy a uh, blippy, you know, my nephew my nephew who just, who was turning five in two or three weeks. He used to love Blimpy, 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 whoever. But it was a guy he used to wear. It was like some kind of orange suspenders, you know. And my nephew, I got a great picture of my nephew. He was wearing the little glasses, wearing the little blimp, Blimpy outfit. You know, this guy has toys. This guy has the uh, commercials now. This guy has a whole bunch of crap, you know. And it's like, that's cool. And I saw this, and my friend, because he... You know he owns a um, he owns a, a donut shop, and so he was trying to, you know, get YouTube going a while ago, like four or five years ago, and we was discussing it, and 
he was telling me how big, this is before, way before I even thought about having children, but he was telling me about this kid that unwraps t- gifts on, on video, and I was like, that sounds dumb, and he's like, kids watch it, and I was like, that sounds dumb, and so I was walking through the store one day with my daughter, you know, and lo and behold, boom, what do I see, some little kid, I'm like, is that the little kid he was talking about, unwrapping videos, now he has his own toys, I'm like, ay, yeah, 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 yeah. so, you know, there's more than one way to, there's more than one way to uh, do this, to do this, you know, and it doesn't matter what niche you want to be in, it does not matter which you know, avenue you want to go down, there's so many ways to do it, you know, you see all these people now, I get, I get stopped at least once a month, you know, I get stopped at least once a month, and people are like, you should get your daughter on Instagram, you should get your daughter on Instagram, I'm like, you know, it's a, it's a, because you see all these, I don't know about you, but now that my, now that my wife had a baby, you know, she, she has to send me videos of kids and it's cute at first but after a while it's it's driving me insane now i i mean i want to delete i want to delete my instagram account anyway but you know it's only a matter of time before i get annoyed and i delete it but anyway but she sent me she sends me all these pictures and videos of these kids and it's you know it's pretty stagey to me and uh, but you know these people they try to you know they're trying to get advertising for the child you know they're trying to get paid to post you know what I mean it's like uh it's like a job itself you know and you see these people and they're like all right take a picture come on and then they're like look at my baby talking it's like your baby probably ain't talking but whatever you know and I'm just discussing with you there's there's I mean my my I had another friend. He told me about a fish, a fish, fish Instagram. He said there's a lot of people, uh, people, people trying to be fish influencers. People do dog, uh, cats, uh, animals, books. People, people have book. Um, my wife has a friend. She gets free books because she's on the, uh, she's a book, 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 book grammar, book gammy, or whatever, whatever you call it, whatever you know. But the point is, if you ever. Have you ever walked? Have you ever walked? Have you ever been out in the field? Have you ever walked out? Like, have you ever just walked outside and looked around and did like a three hundred and sixty view? And you're like, and you're like, man, the world is big. You know, that's how it is when it comes to when it comes to the internet, and that's how it is when it comes to marketing, point blank period. And that's how it is when it comes to a niche. You know, when it comes to something. You know. You want to you want to open up a Shopify store selling T-shirts about fish? You could do that, and you could make some money. It's 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 it, there's there's no limit on the things that you can do, and I don't want you to feel like that it's saturated because nothing's saturated. It's all about you know, of course. Would you like to be the first one to do something? Of course, you know. If if you were, if you were, if you and I would have known two thousand eight, you two would you two would have been big. I would have hooked up a I would have hooked me up a YouTube channel back then, and I would have started filming myself on that truck, and I I'd probably be paid in the shade by now, you know. But it is what it is, you know. But you have to just figure out, hey, which 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 road do I want to go down, you know, and. No matter what, you, no matter what you do, you know. Um, one thing that I always, re- always sell like information products, you know, like how how you how you done this, how how'd you do that, you know, you know, write write a book or something, you know. Um, eventually, you know, because there's there's so many books and people go on Amazon and people click and they like. I want to start a, uh, how can I do this? And this is the first thing people do. And this is why everybody, and this is why, not everybody, but this is why you should have a YouTube channel or some type of video, some type of podcast, because let's say you start doing a niche and you get pretty good at it, you know? Now, I would I would start recording from the word go, you know? I would start, you know, I would film myself or I would film, you know, I would record stuff, I would shoot videos, you know? Just to start to get a feel for things, you know, because you don't want to wait until you actually learn the stuff. 
I mean, you want to you want to learn. You want to have some. You might already have the knowledge, you know, and, and, and you just download it on the uh, download it in the podcast, download the video, download it in your writing. You know, give the people the information. You know, but you also want to be entertaining as well. You know, don't get me wrong. But the reason why you want to because when I started the podcast, I didn't have a. I made a few bucks, but it wasn't like I was making you know money in the bank. But, but I was like. People like the journey. People like to hear about the story. People like to hear, you know, how you're gonna do it. Why you gonna do it? You know, what's 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 your motivation? What's your, you know, the why? You know, I I saw the other day, uh, one of my favorite wrestlers when I used to watch wrestling, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You know, and he tells the same story over and over and over. But people like it. You know, I laugh about it, and I have a friend. I always tell him, I say, I say, I heard uh, I heard the Rock telling that story again. He's like, you know. The Rock, he's like, yeah, my company's called Seven Bucks. Cause when I got when I got back to Florida, I only had seven dollars. But you know, uh, and so it, and people are like, yeah, man, he had seven dollars, and now look at The Rock, you know. And uh, you know, it's it's cool, you know. You cultivate you cultivate a story, and you sort of ride it out, you know. That's the whole point of um, we talked about last week structure, you know, and. And that's the reason why whenever I watch these stupid reality shows with my wife and I'm like, they say the same thing over and over, but it's just like, all right, it's, it's part of the story. You know, everybody has a story and some people, they, they learn how to, they learn how to work this story. They learn how to rehash this story and they tell the story. I remember I listened to the great Zig Ziglar, you know, and he was, and he had a book. It was like 12, 20 hours, something like that. And and every story Zig liked to throw in that he was from the great city of Yazoo, Mississippi. I don't know how many of you gentlemen, how many of you ladies been to Yazoo, Mississippi, but uh, you missing out if you ain't. I've been to Yazoo, Mississippi. Uh, good times, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, but uh, yeah, the great Zig Ziglar, he loved to tell the story. He, he like, you know, I'm just a farm boy from Yazoo, Mississippi. I'm just, uh, I'm just from Yazoo, Mississippi, you know? And he, it, it's funny, you know? And um, I used to listen to this guy, Jim Rohn. I listen to him every now and then. And Jim Rohn, he say, you know, I'm just a farm boy from Idaho. Done good, you know. And it's the same as, uh, you know, other people, other celebrities. You hear the story and they go, you know, so what happened? And they tell the story over and over again. You tell the story over and over again. You you work it out. You hash it out, you know. But the point is, it's so wide open there's so many avenues that you can go down don't think that you can't don't think that something that you can't that something that you want to do will not work and ladies and gentlemen the uh the the last thing that i will say is you don't have to be great at a thousand things you only have to be great at one you know um you don't have to you know let's look at Michael Jordan was great at basketball, you know, and basketball brought him in endorsements. Basketball brought him in, you know, lots of money. Basketball led him to having a shoe deal with Nike. Basketball got Michael Jordan to become a billionaire, you know, because everything else would not would have happened without basketball, you know. And so it's like when you see an actor, you know, uh, you see a great actor, then then they, you know, they're like. I'm, I'm going to try to direct. Some some are good at directing, some are not. Some are good at comedy, some are not, you know. you Let's take uh, Chris Rock. My man Chris Rock, he's a great stand-up comic, you know. Chris Rock is not a good actor, in my opinion, you know. He has terrible movies, but that does not matter. Chris Rock makes, Chris Rock is great at stand-up comedy. He don't have to be great at movies, you know what I mean? And so sometimes you just have to be great at one thing, and the one thing can lead you to the 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 success path, you know, to the road to you know financial independence, as we talked about yesterday. And if you didn't listen to the if you didn't listen to the podcast on Monday, you should, you know, because we talk about financial independence. So it's a bonus episode. But anyway, but ladies and gentlemen, the world is wide open. Don't think, oh man, it's too saturated. You know, I used to. Um, I got this book called Blue Ocean Strategy, and it talks about a lot of that kind of stuff. So don't ever think that it's, uh, you know, you don't have to go down the typical route either if you don't want, you know. There's so many different avenues you can go down. But anyway, 
Ladies and gents, that is it for the podcast. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.